In the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, far from the prying eyes of civilization, lies a hidden realm of constant transformation and powerful forces. Here, the restless tectonic plates beneath the ocean floor have given birth to an underwater volcano, a rare spectacle seldom witnessed by human eyes. With its fiery birth, the Hunga Tonga volcano emerged from the depths, breaking the ocean's surface in a dazzling display of molten lava, steam, and smoke. As this volcanic island formed, it carved its place in geological history, leaving scientists astonished by the sheer intensity of its creation. But what sets this underwater volcano apart from its terrestrial counterparts is not merely its birth, but its subsequent evolution. For years, it remained hidden from our view, a clandestine force of nature concealed beneath the waves. Then a colossal event occurred that would change everything. In a cataclysmic eruption, Hunga Tonga unleashed its might, sending shockwaves through the scientific community and triggering a chain reaction of events that reverberated across the globe. On 15 January 2022, the Hunga Tonga underwater volcano in the Tongan Archipelago of the Pacific Ocean erupted dramatically. The explosion was rated a 6 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, making it the most explosive eruption anywhere in the globe since Mount Pinatubo erupted in the Philippines in 1991. The explosion was heard 6,000 miles distant in Alaska, triggering tsunami waves that reached Russia, the United States, and Chile. The tallest plume ever recorded from a volcano was 57 kilometers of ash, gas, and water thrown into the sky. The eruption's ash covered adjacent islands, causing many residents to flee to the main island. In the immediate aftermath of the eruption, ash and tsunami waves affected about 84% of Tonga's population, and two Tongan people were killed. Aside from these local effects, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai differs from its predecessors in an essential way. When a volcano erupts, the plumes of dust and aerosols often deflect sunlight away from the globe causing surface temperatures to fall. For example, when Mount Pinatubo erupted in 1991, global temperatures decreased by 0.5 degrees Celsius. The Tonga eruption, on the other hand, has had the opposite impact. It was one of the greatest explosions in modern history, affecting GPS systems across Australia and Southeast Asia. The explosion produced a gigantic plasma bubble that lasted for hours above Northern Australia. Our equipment, in essence, listened to radio signals broadcast by satellites circling the Earth. They determined their position relative to the satellites using those signals, enabling us to orient ourselves and identify that local bar or coffee shop. The radio signals received by our equipment are influenced by the Earth's atmosphere, especially the ionosphere, which reduces location accuracy. Common measuring equipment are only precise to tens of meters. However, modern and developing precision satellite positioning systems used in mining, agriculture, and construction may be accurate to 10 centimeters. The only caveat is that these systems need time to latch onto their position, which may take up to 30 minutes. According to recent research, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai volcanic outburst generated turbulent conditions in the ionosphere for a few days. The magnitude of the waves it produced in the ionosphere was comparable to that of geomagnetic storms. While these waves altered GPS data for days after the eruption, their effect on location was rather minor in compared to another kind of ionosphere disturbance, a super plasma bubble that developed in the aftermath of the explosion. The ionosphere is a layer of the Earth's atmosphere that exists at altitudes ranging from 80 to 800 kilometers. It's made up of gas with a lot of electrically charged particles, thus it's called plasma. Scientists discovered a huge plasma bubble over Southeast Asia immediately after the Tonga eruption. It's thought to be the same size as previously reported unusual super bubbles. This disturbance was dragged south by the Earth's magnetic field and remained for a few hours over Townsville in northeastern Australia. To date, this is the southernmost plasma bubble spotted above Australia. While such super bubbles are known to have occurred over northern Australia, they had not been directly witnessed prior to this occasion. This form of monitoring was only recently made feasible by the deployment of GPS units throughout northern Australia. 
Waves from the volcanic eruption are thought to have affected the winds in the upper atmosphere, causing the flow of plasma in the ionosphere to change and giving birth to the superplasma bubble. The Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha Pai volcanic eruption, which created the most intense air explosion ever recorded, also produced a record amount of lightning strikes in an 11 hour supercharged thunderstorm that spanned 150 miles. Despite the volcano's crater being 500 feet below sea level, the explosion blasted through the ocean and launched an ash cloud 36 miles high, with an eruption rate of 11 billion pounds per second, an order of magnitude bigger than Mount Street Helen's May 1980 eruption. Another record broken by the eruption was the amount of lightning strikes. The plume created the most powerful lightning storm ever witnessed with 2,600 flashes per minute at its peak and around 192,000 flashes totaling approximately 192,000 over the duration of 11 hours. Furthermore, this lightning storm occurred at an extraordinary height of 12 to 19 miles, higher than any lightning witnessed previously. Both a network of radio antennas meant to follow storms and two Earth-orbiting satellites spotted these lightning strikes. There are two possibilities for how lightning may have originated inside this ring-shaped gravity wave. Because the Hunga Tonga eruption occurred underwater, it pumped a large amount of water into the Earth's atmosphere, resulting in ice crystals with positive and negative charges. Furthermore, part of the volcanic ash generated by the eruption's fractured rock and magma blasted into the air became ionized, resulting in greater regions of positive and negative charge. The differential in electrical charge is what causes lightning strikes. While lightning rings had previously been seen in volcanic plumes, the Hunga Tonga eruption was the first to reveal numerous rings, four in all, reflecting the four stages of the volcano's eruption, and the lightning rode the undulating rings like a surfer riding ocean waves. Lightning rings are sometimes known as lightning holes, since there is generally no lightning within the ring. However, the Hunga Tonga eruption was unique in another way. The holes began filling with lightning within minutes of the gravity wave rippling past. The process causing this infilling is unknown. Regardless, the presence of lightning underlines the potential for electrical flashes to offer early warning of an eruption. Normally, volcanologists must wait 10 minutes or so for an orbiting satellite to detect and image a volcanic plume and alert emergency services, by which time tsunamis may have drowned coastal regions. Hurricane winds have flattened trees and homes, pyroclastic flows have wiped out tens of square miles, and ash has bunged up aircraft jet engines. Lightning strikes, on the other hand, are detected at radio frequencies that travel at the speed of light. This is obviously quicker than satellites, winds, seismic waves, and infrared. Aside from surpassing current records, the Hunga Tonga eruption may educate us about volcanism on the early Earth and maybe other celestial bodies. The eruption is a Frida Plinian volcano, which happens when a large volume of molten rock erupts through a thick layer of water. Only in the geological record has an explosive underwater volcano of this magnitude been seen. Thank you for joining us on this remarkable journey. Don't forget to like, comment, and share your thoughts about the mystery of this volcano. And as always, remember to subscribe to our channel for more captivating adventures and fascinating discoveries.